Well, either the reopening of Duke's Club is going to be a smashing success or it's going to be a joke. Either way, don't give up your day jobs. Those of us who have them. There's more to this than just fattening up our wallets. Duke needs all the help he can get. What if we give the benefit and nobody comes? Oh, there is bound to be a, at least a good turnout today. Well, good is not good enough. We've got to pack the place. Well, we can't drag people in off the street. I just wish I could have convinced the dock workers to back Duke all the way. Well, the cops are still holding out, too, but don't give up all hope yet. Uh -oh. What do you mean? Well, I told Tom and Captain Lewis to come by today. I figure with all of us here, we can gang up on them. Maybe we can win their support over. Well, Tom and Lewis should be easy, but the rest of his men, I don't know. That may be difficult. Without the union and the cop support, we'll break even at best. And Duke's going to be up to his neck in debt. Hello, kiddo. How are you doing? Great. How are you doing? Guess what's happening tonight? What? Everybody at the Brownstone is throwing a party for you. Mm hmm Oh, I heard that. You're sad because you can't be at the party, right? Yeah, something like that. Don't worry. We'll have another one for you as soon as you get out of the hospital, okay? It's a deal. Tony. Hi. Have you seen Duke yet? I don't know Robert or Willie. What are you doing? I'm about to go in. Come on. That his chart? Uh, it's the latest test results. And? I'm not trying to stall you. I'd just rather Duke hear it first. Sure. Yeah. Hope it's not bad. He could do with a boost. Duke's lucky to be alive. Yeah, so am I. He stopped that bullet meant for me. It could be Here's me you're bringing those results to. Let's Here's go in and let's see how he takes it. How about that? Our remains are coming too. Yeah. Right now we got half of poor Charles there. Oh, let me get that. Ted Jones. <laughs> now, just telling uh, Captain Lewis here, the department must be hard up if they're promoting cops like you. Listen, he does everything he wants to do anyway. We figure we might as well make it official. Yeah, well, it's about time. That's all I can say. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris, Tom. Huh? Thank all you. Right. Come on, now. What did you ask us over here for? It is a matter of utmost importance. Um, you two, it seems, are the only ones that can help us. With what? Well, recruiting enough people for the benefit tonight. You heard we were opening Duke's Club. Yeah, oh yeah, it's all over town. Well, we're anxious to have a big crowd because all the proceeds go to help Duke's medical bills. Well, what can we do? You can deliver the union, and you can deliver the police force. Oh, easier said than done. <laughs> Just tell the guys it's it's for, for me, if not Duke. I, I'm a member of the Dock Workers Union, plus I'm a cop. Tell them I need the money, whatever. And I'm a cop's wife, and I need a job, too. See? Mm -hmm. Look, all we're asking is for a show of support. Well, nobody can object to you guys. And uh, we're sold on the benefit. I think it's a great idea. Absolutely. Got my whole hearted support. But, you know, I, I don't know about the rest of the cops. Look, I don't want this thing to be misunderstood. Uh, this is not just a charity for Duke. We're doing it for ourselves, too. And we think it'll be real good for the waterfront. Absolutely. I mean, we would do nothing to harm this area. It's our home. Well, I'm definitely going to be there tonight. Well, I, I, I'm working tonight, but otherwise I definitely would be there. And I can't speak for the rest of the cops. But we need everybody, guys. Look, Tom, we need cops and the dock workers, okay. all of them. Look, I don't have to tell you what this Chief Ramsey affair has done to the morale of the police, you know. I mean, a lot of the guys, they haven't forgotten about this. And the last thing they need is to be reminded about how Chief Ramsey made them all look so bad. Yeah, and there's a lot of the dock workers that are really ticked off at Duke. They hold him responsible for the corruption in the union. Now, you expect them to give money to a guy who they think almost threw away their pension fund? If Lavery hadn't paid every dime back himself, there wouldn't be a union. Remind him that. Hey, don't tell me. Just, just see what you can do, okay? Both okay. Please. Right. We'll try our best. Yeah, no promises. Listen, we're just trying to help somebody. <laughs> yeah. Give it your best shot. Okay? All right, we'll try. Yeah. We'll try. Thank you. So those are the results. We did a lot of testing, but in a situation like yours, we wanted to make sure. Why don't you give it to me straight in words that I can understand? What exactly did the tests tell you? That your chances of walking again are excellent. Oh, all right. Great. The tests were all negative. There's no permanent damage. You don't seem too happy, Duke. 
Well, we're ecstatic, Tony. <laughs> well, good. Does that mean that you won't have to do any more tests on him? Uh, no, not quite. What are you saying? Well, I, I want one more x-ray, and if nothing turns up, then I'm going to schedule therapy for you. I just want to make absolutely sure there's no physiological reasons why you can't walk again. But you don't anticipate any problems. No, I don't. I'm confident the x-ray is going to confirm the test. And then we're going to have you back on your feet in no time. How long do you think all this will take? Not more than a couple hours. X-rays, therapy, couldn't be easier. Now, this test will prove that there is no reason why he can't walk again. No physical reason. We're going to prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt. And then, my friend, it is up to you. So what do you say? You want to go have some X-rays? I don't want therapy. There's no point. Well, why don't you take Robin outside to the nurse's station for a minute? Hmm, I was about to suggest that. We'll go and see who's on duty. I'll walk with you. We'll give Mummy and Duke a few moments alone. They need to talk. If anybody can motivate him to walking again, Hannah can. So vulnerable. I'm scared. I can't help it, and I'm terrified. You have every reason to be scared at the moment. Yeah, I'll never walk again. Don't say that. It's true, Anna. I'm paralyzed from the waist down, and I'll probably stay that way for the rest of my life. Didn't you hear what Tony said to you? He said that if all the tests are negative then there is no physical reason why you can't walk again. He's just trying to raise my hopes. I've heard doctors tell the, the same stories to, to other paraplegics. You're not a paraplegic. I'd rather be dead, you know. So you're just giving up, is that it? What do you suggest I do? I suggest you start believing in yourself like I do. You will walk again, I know you will. There is absolutely no medical reason why you can't walk. And if you don't, it'll be because you don't want to, because you psyched yourself out. Now, you're either going to give in to this fear or you're going to fight it. Don't let yourself down. Or Robin, or me. If you put half as much effort into walking again as you did into making me fall in love with you, then you'll be walking in no time at all. Have you forgotten when we danced together? You know I haven't. Well, then. Walk for me, for Robin, and above all, for yourself. Come on in back to the living world, for goodness sake. I'll try. Do you promise you'll be alone with me when I take my first step? I wouldn't have it any other way. I tell Tony I'm ready for my x-rays whenever he is. Yeah, I'll tell him. And then I'll go home and put on a special dress. What sort of a dress? Oh, you'll see. Call it added incentive. I'll get the guard to help you with the wheelchair. Guard, excuse me. Yes. Could you get a nurse, please, also? Sure.
about your page? What's up? Miss Robin. She's in the nursery playing with the kids, so how had a go with Duke. I managed to persuade him to have the x-ray done. And? He's convinced, regardless of how it turns out, that he will never walk again. He's scared stiff. Yeah, he said that. You know, fear can turn the strongest man inside out. They start thinking, nothing ventured, nothing lost. That's it. That's it. If he doesn't try to walk, he can't fail, right? Yeah. Well, maybe these new x-rays will convince him that he's fit. It's not that. Dr. Problems in his brain. Code blue. And I don't... I don't think I can solve it. Maybe Tony can. I don't think so. Maybe you can talk to him. Me? How? Well, you said you've been there before. Uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> come on. I... Yeah, I've, I've seen No, I know, but you said in the WSB you saw a number of agents that were it it was suffering from, from traumatic psychological problems because of assignments they'd been through. Now, you said that they were literally paralyzed from fear. Now, how did you help them? Oh, many times I couldn't. I'm not asking for a miracle. I just want you to help him, talk to him. Well, uh, you sit them down and you talk one-on-one, -on -one, make them confront the fear, that's half the battle. There's an old saying, uh, that which doesn't kill me makes me stronger. I want you to tell him that. Please, Robert, I can't do it. I'm begging you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. Oh. And if, if you can't get through to him... Uh, I know how much this means to you. It's more than just the walking. It's his whole self-respect. If he doesn't walk, he's not going to be good for anything yet. Will you help him? For me, please, uh, Robert, will you? Well, well, he saved my life. I owe him that much. Mm-hmm. This could be your way of paying him back. Nurse Finnegan, please call the third floor. Now, I've got to find Robin. Hmm. Nurse circumstances, I thought we should have a meeting about Duke Lavery right now. Maybe Monica and Alan can shed some light on the problem. Well, I appreciate you letting me sit in. Well, I'm hoping you can help. I understand you've had some experience working with troubled WSB agents. You know, as far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be any physical reason why Duke can't walk. Well, there's not. As you can see, the x-rays look fine to me. There is no physiological reason why he shouldn't be able to walk. It's not going to mean much to a guy who's convinced he's paralyzed from the waist down. Well, the question is, how do we convince him otherwise? Hi, I'm Hi. sorry, I'm later. It held up downstairs. Hello, sorry. Robert. Alan, why don't you show him this x-ray right here? This is the latest on Duke Lavery. It looks fine to me. Yeah, but he insists he can't walk. Mm -hmm. Well, often what a doctor knows and a patient believes are two very different things. Yes, trust is as important in that relationship as it is in to a marriage. So is honesty in facing facts. Well, in this case, Duke is trusting his instincts. Which are badly distorted by sheer terror. Now, something spooked the guy. He's going to want to walk desperately enough to face that fear down. Well, we, maybe we should have invited a psychologist to the meeting. And I think he'd pay less attention to that than he did to the x-rays. Yeah, I can guarantee that. So, how do we proceed from here? We've got to get him to therapy. Now, I set up a program for him, which he's supposed to start in a half hour, which I don't think he's going to go through with. Anna had to talk him into going to x-ray. I don't know how we're going to get him to go into therapy. Well, I have dealt with heart patients uh, having a similar problem. I mean, their fear of possibly a severely limited lifestyle causes them to be very, very fearful of even taking a first step toward recovery. I agree. We've begun to realize that many kinds of sickness and injury have to be treated psychologically as well as physiologically. Well, there's no doubt that's a situation here. What we can't find is a way to convince him. Listen, uh, can I take a shot at this? What do you want to do? Well, to start with, I'd like to talk to him. He obviously believes that he can't walk again. It's like having gone through a bad war injury. The guy believes he should have died on the battlefield. Hello, the Pavlov's Royal Garden. Yes, well done, everyone. It's yeah. worth all of the work. Yeah, if we have standing room only, it'll be worth all of the work. We will, think crowds. Okay. We always turn evening into a party for you. Congratulations on your reinstatement. Here, here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure glad you're back on the police force, this guy. Well, thank you, so am I. <laughs> hey, guys, what do you want the flowers? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. spa. Anyone care to mention our generous donation? We can always use well, the flowers. Well, I'm there. Oh, 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 oh. 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 
We no. thought we were going to be early. Well, heck, this isn't the audience here. We got everybody helping. Nobody's attending now. I'm bartender for the evening. You look right. gorgeous. Thank you. I love us. Right so, uh, here. Uh, here from Captain Mr. Tom? Not since we talked to them, no. Oh, shoot. I was kind of hoping that they'd call and say that every cop and every union member was going to reserve a table. There's going to be a big crowd. Just wait and see. But there's yeah. not much else we can do, is there? Well, sit and clean up. Come on, honey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, then, uh, who are you looking at? That gown. It's lovely. Of course, what's in it isn't so bad either. Well, I bet you say that to all the nightclub singers. No, no. Just the ones who promise to sing romantic songs in exchange for donations. From this music lover here, I feel particularly generous this evening. Well, I've got a few surprises for you, too. Mm. Okay, everybody, let's not forget what this cause is for. Let's get the show on the road to Open Duke's Club, shall we? Let's do it! Yeah. Well, I hear we got some good news today. You know something I don't. The last batch of x-rays was fine. You're gonna walk again. You don't believe me? Talk to Tony. X-rays can be wrong. <sighs> Not these. You are going to walk and Tony says so. Well, good for him. In fact, he's so sure about it that he's uh, scheduled some uh, therapy for you in a little while, I understand. Look. It's one thing for us to put this act on when Anna is in the room, but when you and I are alone, we don't have to play games. Are we playing games? You know damn well I'll never walk again. You want sympathy? No, I don't want sympathy, man. I would like the truth. All right. The truth is that people recover from temporary paralysis like yours all the time. Good case in point. Close friend of mine, Luke Spencer. A guy was paralyzed from the neck down because of an avalanche, but because of a lot of hard work, determination and guts, he got himself to walk again. Offer him my congratulations. I'd sooner offer you his example. You know, one of the finest agents I ever worked with in the WSB found himself in a similar situation to this. Ben was, well, I guess you could call him the original Lone Ranger. Guy took on a band of foreign agents single-handedly. Now, he could probably question his sanity, but never his guts. Anyway, when the dust cleared, old Ben was flat on his back, quite comatose. You know what got him around again? Your expert counsel. He saw this newspaper article reporting the breakup of the ring. The case he'd broken wide open, on his own. Next day, he was back at work. Is there a moral here? You fought the mob single-handedly, and you broke them. You broke up an organization that law enforcement agencies have been trying to nail for years. And I, I live to tell the tale, barely. <sighs> Look, I think once you're convinced that the mob's power is broken, you'll have no more doubts. The mob never loses its power. You cut off one arm, it grows another overnight. Maybe. But the one that's had you under its thumb is dead and buried. Are you really so sure, or are you just feeding me a line? Well, thanks to Damon's testimony, backed up by uh, Angel, the evidence is airtight. Angus, Pilgrim are all going to go away for a long time. When they're released, if they're ever released, they're going to be deported. They'll be back. One way or another, they'll be back. <sighs> Look, Duke, by the time this mob makes it back to the surface, they're going to be our great-grandchildren's problem. You've got a lot to live for, mate. You may be scared now, but in a month's time, you're gonna wonder what all the fuss was about. A month from now, I'll be in jail. Yes, serving what we all hope is gonna be a very reduced sentence. Is this, is this what's really got to you here? Listen, mate, once you're released, your life is gonna be your own. What do you wanna do with it? I think you know what my dream is. And I wanna believe it can come true. 
I've already put myself and Anna through too much. And the mob, they don't forget. One day soon, they'll try to kill me again, and this time, perhaps, they'll succeed. Do you think I can ask Anna and Robert to live with that? I won't deny it. I've had similar worries. Ah, so you admit I'm right. I'm not about to let Anna and Robin lose someone that they love a lot. The least you can do is lend a hand. I'll try. Good. Thank you for the pep talk. Ready for your therapy, Mr. Lavery? Yeah, I'm ready. That's the kind of attitude we like from our patients. Uh, listen, uh... Why is there only one person guarding him? Shouldn't there be another officer here? Yeah, but he went home sick. Okay. Could you give me a hand with the patient? Sure. connection with the police force and the dock workers union, huh? It's early. Place will fill up. Yeah, well, it better. What are we worrying about, huh? They'll show up, right? They'll show up. They'll show up. They'll show up. Hi, Hello. Hi. Hey, don't look so worried. Come on. It's, it's early. Everybody's still out having dinner now, getting their babysitters. They're stuck in traffic. This place is going to be busting at the seams in no time, I yeah. promise. Mm -hmm. I hope so, because you have a lot right on this. Only our reputation is party animals, Anna. I suppose we could make this an old age home if it doesn't work out. As do you. Yeah, out of the test, come on. Oh, fine. I just spoke to Tony, and he said that the final x-rays have come through, and they're perfect. Oh. So Duke should be able to walk very soon. Uh, he's made a remarkable recovery. Yeah, he's not quite there yet, but he's on his way. I just wanted to come by and wish you lots of luck with this adventure. Thanks, Anna. I think we'd be happy if this one evening turned out to be successful. It will. Would you mind if I went up there and said a few words? I know that the proceeds from this evening are going towards Duke's hospital bills, and I would like to say thank you to everybody. Absolutely. I will escort you. The lady thank seems you, to be sir. finished. Stay. I would just like to say how very special the people are that are running this club now. I couldn't ask for better friends. And on behalf of Duke Lavery, I would like to thank them and you for this, this very generous evening. It is a tribute to your compassion that you are willing to help someone with a, a checkered past. Duke made one big mistake, and he'll be paying for it for the rest of his life. He's facing a rather difficult struggle right now, but your support means a lot to him and to me. Duke wants nothing more than to make amends for what has happened. And I think that um, saving Robert Scorpio's life is a giant step in the right direction. Yeah, what can I do for you? Listen, I'm in uh, Dirk's room at the hospital. Hey, how's he doing? Pretty well. He's in therapy now. Listen, uh, why is there only one guard assigned to watch you? 
Well, normally we post a couple of them, but uh, his relief was out sick with the flu. I want a second guard down here on the double, and I'll take full responsibility. Somewhere for a nice quiet chat. Hey, if you, if you're smart, you'll keep your mouth shut. If you even think about running, so help me, I'll put you in here as a patient. You can't do this, man. I didn't do anything. Yeah, but I'm going to find something on you. Who you knows? I'll probably discover you're not even an order. It's going to be a quiet night, eh? Let's go. Okay. Well, the best is still to come. Right now, I would like a very warm welcome for the singing detective, Frisco Jones. Yo. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, thank you. Thank you for showing up tonight. We appreciate it. And I'd like to dedicate this first song to Duke Lavery, which is why we're all here. Uh, I'm sure we all wish him a very speedy recovery. So, wish we were here, Duke. One, two, three. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel oh, this way. All right. Pretty Now all we need are a couple of dozen cops, and maybe this evening will be a success after all. I knew he would. The therapist was very encouraging. He says that your muscles are strong enough for you to walk. I hope so. Only one way to find out. I know, but what happens if I fall flat on my face? Pick yourself up. Go right back at it. Like. I think it's a little bit overdressed for the hospital. <laughs> you look beautiful. I like it almost as much as the first time you wore it. It's the first time we ever met. Yeah. Can you imagine how many times I've relived that scene? I know it all by heart. I popped by the club for a few moments. Your friends are putting on a wonderful show for you. They're doing everything but passing their hat to raise money for you. I wish I could be there. Well, you are in spirit. And you will be very soon in person. I don't know how to thank Frisco and Felicia and Bobby and Jake and all the others. The best way you can thank them is by walking in there one day yourself and saying so. I want to. For you. It's not going to be easy. Think of it. It is your first step into our new life. You're walking into your future and into my arms. Tony, give me a hand. Doing what? Getting out of bed. Just get me into a standing position and I'll lean myself up against the bed. And then please leave us alone. It's the only way I'd want it. I'll get you up. And then you're on your own, okay? Let's go. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna find out who you are if it takes me all night. I still don't understand how he got into that room. I'm gonna find out about that too, and someone's gonna pay. We should be getting some information on our orderly very shortly. Look, why don't you just come clean and save us all a lot of time? All right, I'll play it your way. But let me tell you something about the guy you tried to take out. You saved my life. Anyone that threatens slavery. 
answers to me personally. Yes, and we'll be sitting on the hottest club in town. We did! We did! <laughs> Just what I figured. Got a record? Long as your arm. This guy's been doing contracts all up and down the East Coast. My guess is the Duke wishes one more notch on his gun. Or knife. Okay, you want to talk now? Who sent you? Only call Chief Devane. Now, let's keep this quiet for the moment. This evening with her and Duke is most important. We don't want a slag bag like this to ruin it. You okay? I'll be right outside the door. And Duke, you can make it. I wouldn't let you out of bed unless I was absolutely sure. The only thing holding you back is yourself, all right? Okay. Thanks, Tim. Right here. Come on, walk to me. Come on. I can't. Yes, you can. It's all in your mind. Your legs are fine. Now move them. I can move. I can move them. It's hopeless. You can I... move them. If you love me. Come on, walk to me. Come on, walk. Keep trying, come on. Come on, dear. Come on. I'm walking. <laughs> oh, you did it. 